Howard Hawks once said a good movie is three good scenes and no bad scenes. But what about movies which have endured in pop culture thanks to a single unforgettable scene? While none of these 10 films would qualify as unconscionably awful or even actually bad, the majority of them are simply watchable yet entirely forgettable outside of their single grandstanding scene. This scene, so brilliantly written, directed, or acted as it was, took on a far greater life than the rest of the movie, and has staked out a comfy place in pop culture fandom ever since. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 movies everyone remembers for one awesome scene. Number 10. The Interrogation – Basic Instinct Paul Verhoeven's erotic thriller Basic Instinct is unquestionably best known for establishing Sharon Stone as an in-demand Hollywood femme fatale. But be honest, how much do you remember outside of that interrogation scene? Basic Instinct's defining set piece isn't one of serial killer Catherine Trammell's grisly murders, but rather a deliciously trashy scene where she uses her sexuality to taunt the police as they question her about a recent killing. Stone, oozing intimidating sexiness throughout the scene, wraps the cops around her fingers as she smokes seductively and passes them longing, confident glances. This is before she commits the piers de resistance crossing her legs and fleetingly flashing her nether regions to the sweaty, slack-jawed cops. Lovely. The scene immediately entered the pop culture pantheon, and has been widely parodied in the near three decades since. Number 9. Airplane Rescue – Superman Returns Despite its terrific cast and solid director, Superman Returns was an oddly anodyne low-energy super flick which in its stead to deliver a loving homage to the Richard Donner Christopher Reeve Superman era was perhaps a little too sedate for its own good. As fans continue to debate the merits of releasing a Superman movie where the Man of Steel is effectively an absentee father, there's really only one scene that practically everyone agrees is a standout. The scene in question is the airplane rescue set piece, where Superman flies into action to prevent a plane containing Lois Lane and members of the press from plummeting into a packed baseball stadium. It's an incredible set piece in search of a far more interesting movie surrounding it, and easily the early high point of a film which never really gets close to being this fun or exciting ever again. Number 8. Lights Out – Equilibrium Equilibrium was one of the many sci-fi action films released in the shadow of The Matrix, and one which was ultimately a shameless grab bag of countless other better genre entries. Wearing its Orwellian thematics on its sleeve while refusing to acknowledge how fundamentally goofy its gun cutter action aesthetic was, the Christian Bale starring genre film nevertheless got its single truly great scene out of the way early. Gun toting instrument of the state John Preston struts his stuff in an opening raid sequence, where he leaps through a locked door as his squad mates shoot out the interior lights. After a moment of pitch black, Preston unleashes the full force of his marksmanship on the assembled criminals mowing them down in sheer darkness, with occasional muzzle flashes while receiving not a scratch on himself. It's a supremely badass scene, but the rest of the movie is really just a beige, over-familiar dystopian thriller that's so aggressively 2000s, uh, it hurts. Number 7. Into the Vault – Mission Impossible now, Brian De Palma's original Mission Impossible is far from a bad movie, but it's also one that grows more pale and distant with the release of each new outrageous entry into the franchise. Compared to every other Mission Impossible film that has followed, the original is so tame, even lethargic, that almost 25 years later there's really only one iconic statuesque scene which most fans actually remember. We're of course talking about Ethan Hunt's infiltration of the CIA HQ, which sees him hanging perilously from a wire as he hacks a CIA computer with the room primed to measure minute differences in weight and pressure. Even if this stomach-knotting sequence might seem quaint by the series' contemporary standards, the sight of Tom Cruise hanging mere inches from the floor nevertheless remains the series' signature image, and for damn good reason. Number 6. The Laser Scene – Resident Evil Paul W.S. Anderson's original 2007 Resident Evil movie is easily the best of the increasingly brain-dead franchise, despite ironically being the least faithful to its video game namesake. 
All in all, it's a fairly generic B-movie mishmash of zombie film cliches, albeit briefly brought to life by a spectacular mid-film sequence in which the Umbrella Corporation's rogue AI unleashes its laser defense system on a helpless squad of mercs. The grisly scene sees the team trapped in a narrow hallway as the AI fires a series of red-hot lasers at them, mutilating, decapitating, and bisecting most of the squad, before firing an inescapable laser grid at the most resourceful team member, dicing him into meaty, meaty chunks. Say what you will about Anderson as a filmmaker, and Resident Evil as a whole, but this scene remains intensely memorable almost two decades later. Number 5. Lucifer Arrives – Constantine Though it's undeniably enjoyed a bit of a cult revival in recent years, 2005's Keanu Reeves starring comic book adaptation Constantine remains a frustrating curio. A movie with so many right ingredients and yet one which scarcely lingers in the viewer's brain. That is, except for Peter Stormare's fantastic single scene as Lucifer near the end of the movie, an intensely captivating confrontation with the titular hero that's carried almost entirely by Stormare's bone-chilling work as the villain. It is casting at its most sublimely inspired, with director Francis Lawrence giving Stormare license to command the screen free of other intrusions. It's good enough to temporarily make viewers forget about the film's numerous deviations from the source material, or that the rest of it's a bit dreary and dull. Number 4. McCoy Euthanizes His Father – Star Trek V The Final Frontier It's nearly universally agreed that the fifth Star Trek movie, directed by William Shatner no less, is the worst of the lot because despite many of the films settling into a passably episodic groove, only does The Final Frontier dare to be so shockingly easy to forget. The cast tries hard to make the uneventful material work, resulting in a single fantastic scene which clearly belonged in a better Trek film. The scene in question sees the villainous cyborg forcing Leonard McCoy to relive the traumatic moment where he agreed to euthanize his terminally ill father. The kicker is that a cure was discovered for McCoy's father's illness shortly after he assisted him in death. Yet by making McCoy relive this trauma, Cyborg also allowed him to let go of his guilt and move on. In a movie that's otherwise bereft of really any interesting ideas, we got one of the most affecting single scenes in the series' entire cinematic canon. Number 3. The Bomb Explosion – Swordfish much like Equilibrium, Swordfish is a quintessential turn-of-the-millennium movie, a film that bleeds the early 2000s from its every pore, yet for the most part blurs together with every other blandly effects-driven, hyper-convoluted, star-studded thriller of the era. But there is one genuinely well-executed and unforgettable scene right at the start of the movie. Swordfish opens in Medias Res, kicking off with a glimpse of Gabriel Shear's bank heist, which chaotically climaxes with one of his hostages rigged with a bomb being blown up. Cue a gloriously stylish 180-degree slow-motion tracking shot of the bomb obliterating the hostage and annihilating all the cops in the vicinity. Sure, the post-Matrix years brought us many scenes like this, but few were captured with quite this level of technical panache. Shame the rest of the movie was an unintentional parody of what 2001-era Hollywood thought hacking actually was, though. Number 2. I Will Find You – Taken In addition to being a surprise box office success, Taken also radically reinvented the career of star Liam Neeson, who in the years since has starred in a glut of hit action thrillers no matter their quality. Taken is centered around one admittedly spectacular scene, in which upon learning that his daughter has been kidnapped, Brian Mills lets loose with an all-timer monologue on the party responsible. In addition to being widely parodied in pop culture, the scene has since become a popular internet meme, and has almost single-handedly defined Neeson's cinematic career over the last decade plus. As for the rest of Taken, you'll be hard-pressed to find anyone who remembers much about the plot, the characters, or even the action sequences. Without this scene, Taken would have been indistinguishable from the hundreds of action thrillers which clog up basic cable channels every single night. Number 1. The Train Scene – The Lone Ranger Gore Verbinski's The Lone Ranger is a monument to blockbuster excess, a $250 million tentpole with way too much money and far too few ideas. Hence, any time it stops to talk, it's a resounding bore, and by the end of its 149-minute runtime, it feels more like an endurance trial than a breezy, nostalgic thrill ride. Verbinski is at least smart enough to end the movie on a doozy of a final set piece, though. 
a deliriously entertaining 15-minute chase sequence in which Tonto steals a train belonging to railroad tycoon Latham Cole, who has his cronies give chase in another train. This is all while the Lone Ranger provides backup on horseback. In a scene that's filled with creative Buster Keaton-inspired action beats, particularly when Tonto is swung between trains on a giant ladder. While so much of the movie is indistinguishable from any other glossy, over-budgeted action-adventure film, this sequence is an absolute banger and deserves more praise than it's ever received. And that's our list. Know of any other movies everyone remembers for just one awesome scene? Let us know all about them in the comments section below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. I've been Gareth from WhatCulture.com, thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon.